guys welcome to my youtube channel so first things first because i recorded this video off my phone so i suggest you switch to full screen mode so that you can see the commands i'm typing on the screen properly so in this video i'll be showing you how you can connect to your web terminal with your tamox application using your ssh key and password so ssh stands for secure shell and is basically a program that allows you to log into a remote machine and also to run commands on that remote machine so in our own case the remote machine we are talking about here is your web terminal so to do this all you need you just go to your intranet then click on these three dash buttons then click on sandboxes so it, it will open the sandbox for you so if you are a new alx student don't once you once you you may observe that what you are having in your own uh, sandbox is different from mine you won't have all this ubuntu python ubuntu node.js you understand the reason is because as you progress in the program all these things will be released to you but if you are new you won't have it. the only thing you have is this this ubuntu 20.04 but if you are using it for the first time it may not display all these ssh sftp web terminal restart destroy and all that it may only it will only display a green run button so once you click on that green run button right it is going to start displaying like this so now just click on ssh so once you click on ssh it will automatically copy your ssh key so if you're like i said earlier if you're using git bash if you're using ubuntu or if you're using um kali linux the procedure is the same thing so you just go to your terminal then you long press and paste then you press enter so once you press enter if you are doing this for the first time it is going to ask you if you want to permanently add the key you understand since you since you want to permanently add the key you will type yes then you press enter then after doing that it will now prompt you for password like it's doing for me now the reason why it is not asking me that is because i have already done it previously so i will go back then i will click on passwords then i will also come back here and i'll paste it now once you paste your password you won't see the password you have pasted for security reasons but it has already pasted so don't panic if you don't see the password so you now what you just do next is you just press enter so once you press enter you will observe that your shell prompt has changed you know before the shell prompt was a dollar sign now but now it's no longer a dollar sign now you can you have this root root f242 all that so that means that i'm successfully i'm successfully logged in right so this hash symbol means that i'm logged in as a root user and the slash in front of the hash symbol means that i'm in my home directory so if i hit the ls command to list all the files i'm having in this directory you see all the files i have so like i said earlier if you're a new student you won't have all these files the reason why i'm having these files is because i'm not new i've already done some work you understand so you have all this so if you don't see all these files don't panic it's because you have you have just started what you have what you are what you are going to have in your own is going to be different from mine so like i said earlier also if you're using git bash if you're using ubuntu or kali linux the procedure is just the same so just follow what i've done and you will get something like this so also once you are logged in you are you can now start doing you can now start doing your project so whatever it is you do here will be reflecting in your web terminal so that's it guys that's basically how you um you log into your web terminal with your ssh key from the thermos application so thank you for watching my youtube video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel for more content like this and i'll see you in the next one